Welcome to Hawkmeyer Outdoors. And on today's episode, we're getting the BCA-10 all decked out for hunting season. So, y'all stay tuned. First thing I'm gonna do here is get a camo job on this uh, AR-10 here. This thing is unloaded, it's safety checked, all that good stuff. I went ahead and taped up everything and put uh, some cardboard on the stuff that I don't want painted. Check out our shotgun painting video. We go into a lot more detail on the stuff you need and this is pretty much the same thing. Uh, camouflage paint that we're using is this Rust-Oleum camouflage paint. But we're gonna wipe it all down with some alcohol, get the paint. All right, everything's all taped up where I want it is hanging up. I like to do this better than just on the floor doing one side at a time. I can walk around it and, you know, get a better look at it, what needs to be done and stuff. Uh, we're going to be using a camo sand, the Rust-Oleum camo, camo sand as a base coat. The base coat is the most important thing to me. Two or three coats of that. Uh, the camel pattern is secondary. And just a word of warning, this is not the strongest way to paint your firearm, but it does hold up very well. It's gonna wear in some spots, but that's what I like. So you do what you like. But we're gonna get the first coat on here. Here we go. We're on our second coat here, and there's areas that you need to concentrate, apply a little bit more uh, camo paint to the grip, forearm, places where you're gonna be handling this a lot. I kinda just like putting it on a little bit heavier, not letting it run or anything like that, but definitely trying to hit those areas a little bit more. Got all the base coats on there, nice and dry. Um, we're gonna use three different colors. Of course, the sand, I'm gonna use some deep forest green and a dark earth brown. Uh, typically, how I do camouflage, I'm gonna go from the lightest to darkest. And I got a certain pattern here I'm gonna try. I've seen this online and I really liked it. And I think it's gonna look really cool. All right, I got the camo pattern kind of going here. Looking really good. Now the last is gonna be some earth brown. I'm gonna use just a little bit of that. Not much, but it's looking really good. All right, it is all done. We're gonna let it hang here for a couple days. Let it cure up. Then we'll get all the accessories on. Gave it about a week for that paint to really set and cure before we brought it out here to the range today and started putting rounds through it. Yeah, definitely came out great. Uh, couple accessories I put on here got the, the uh, Magpul K2 grip really nice grip put that on everything um, a strike industries recoil spring primary arms one by six scope and a decent little uh, scope mount that's accessories that I put on there uh, came out great Hawkins I think that rifle is ready to go hog hunting yes it sure is definitely but Hey, we're on the drive to a thousand. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, all that. Thanks for all that you do, and y'all have a good one.